Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College. This morning, I'd like to capture my, my thoughts on the title, Help Me If You Can. I remember many, many uh, years ago, you know, the, the famous uh, uh, singer, Tina Turner, um, made a very touching song, and the songs are Help Me If You Can. I'm feeling down. And um, I, I was just listening and I was watching her, you know, as she sang that song and, and the passion with which she sang that song. And you could see this, it's like a cry from somebody's heart to somebody, please help me, please help me, if you can. And I, and I was really touched by it. It set me thinking. And um, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure she doesn't really need any help, but I mean, who knows? But that song really set me thinking that possibly are there people who might be crying out for help even though they may not be asking for it in, in any way. In the story of, of the crucifixion of Jesus, if you remember, in the crucifixion of Jesus and in his trial and all the things that went on, in Luke chapter 23, verse 26, there's a very little picture over there. And that picture has... So, I mean, it sends a lot of uh, things down my way. A lot, many statements are being made by that picture. Now, here is Jesus carrying the cross. And obviously, he's been beaten, lashed, whipped. His sides, I mean, his, his back uh, ripped, you get it, with a, with a, with a scorpion. With that, that whip is called a scorpion because it has hooks in it. And when it is thrown around your body, the hooks bury themselves in your body. And when it is pulled... What it does is that it tears the skin. It lacerates the skin very, very dangerously. And you can just Im imagine, he'd gone through um, uh, 39 lashes or 40 lashes, but one. Uh, and he'd been through a very traumatic time. And then he was made to carry the cross. And here is um, God carrying the cross. Jesus, the Son of God, carrying the cross. And he began to fall along the journey. The weight of the cross was so much that he couldn't bear it alone, and he began to fall. And the falling was not just once. I must be very honest with you. That's why sometimes I have questions in my mind when I read the scriptures that says, I mean, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. And I say to God, that's not fair. Because you carry the cross once, and you are falling all along the way. But you ask us to be carrying the cross almost every day. But he says, my burden is light, and my yoke is it's easy. So I'm sure the cross we carry is far much more lighter, and I can guarantee you that, that it's far much more lighter than the one he had to carry. But here's the principle. Jesus carrying the cross and falling along the way. And then out comes a man called Simon of Cyrene, an African, an Ethiopian. Out comes here, and then he is asked, can you help him carry the cross? And then he helps Jesus carry the cross. It wasn't Jesus who asked him to carry, help him carry the cross. Others help him carry the cross. Listen, sometimes people are carrying things that they can't walk it alone. They can't track that road alone and they can't, they can't go by themselves. Sometimes some, some people bear some, some burdens that are breaking them down, that is pushing them to the ground, that is making them eat the dust of shame. And guess what? Sometimes it is not our fight. It was not Simon of Cyrene's fight. It was not his problem. Or somebody would say, you know, be in Palaba. But guess what? He came down to help him. Sometimes it's not our trouble. Sometimes it's not our burden. But you see the people lying in the, in the pool of anguish, sweating in, 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 in the pain of, of, of grief and all the things that goes with it. You can see their groans of sorrow. You can hear their moans of, 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 of help and their plea inwardly for help. And sometimes 
We need to go out of our comfort zones and stretch out a hand to help ease their burden. That is what Simon of Siren did. There are people around you who are carrying heavy loads and those loads are pushing them down. Oh, you can see them. You can see their face hit the dust. You can see them wallowing in the dust of hopelessness and helplessness. Our, our Christianity isn't just a Christianity that loves God, but hates humanity. Our Christianity is a Christianity that loves God, but must also of a necessity love humanity. That is the signature of our Christianity. So Simon of Cyrene stepped out of his comfort zone to help a Christ who is falling. And I want to say this, help somebody if you can. People are down and they are around you. Be of help to somebody. Help me if you can. See you later.